Good day to everyone, welcome everyone to Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven. I am your host, Just Speak of Genov, and we are in front of Onar's farm, which we're going to explore in this little episode, or probably the next two, because that's actually quite a big place. Anyways, Buster warned us because of this guy called Sentenza. So, well, I don't know. I'm not I'm not scared, I'm just going to face him head on. Come here, Sentenza, I'm not scared of you. Come here. Come here. What? I... I don't know. I slipped. Okay, we better just... We should also avoid that guy in, in front of there because he's going... Actually, he's actually the only one who's, going, who's actually noticing that I just walked past him, their, uh, their gate guard. Anyways... This is owner's farm. Let's see, this is a little barn where most of the people sleep. In here is... there's a smithy and the kitchen. And this is the big house of Ornar, so... I guess the first thing you can do is uh, say hello to Ornar. You know, be friendly and first uh, meet the big, uh, the big shot of this place. There we go. Ah, there he sits, comfy in his chair. Sup? Who let you in here? What are you doing here on my farm? Everything all right here on the farm? I don't see how that's any of your business. You don't belong on the farm. Fine, I'm not part of the Cool Kids Club. You're revolting against the city, or so I've heard. Now listen up. I inherited this farm and this land from my father. And he inherited it from his father. I'm not going to allow that greedy imbecile of a king to make off with all that just in order to feed his useless armies. The war with the orcs has been going on forever. And where do we stand? On the edge of defeat. No, I prefer to defend my farm myself. The money that I save this way can pay for my own army. Okay, okay. Calm down, Sardis. Uh, owner. Also, we actually still need a sheep if we really want to uh, join the monastery, so we might as well ask him that as well. I want to buy a sheep. What are you doing here then? See a sheep anywhere? I. If you want to buy a sheep, go out to the pasture. It's to the right of my house. Have Pepe sell you one. <laughs> I like that option. Anyways, we don't really uh, get. Since owner isn't quite talking, we just go somewhere else. Probably find somewhere this uh, owner of the uh, of the mercenaries. What are you looking at me? Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head. Got it? I'm really scared of this peasant with a sickle. I don't even see a sickle, but anyways. What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. Yeah, walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. Oh, you're so prejudiced. Oh well. There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right. And most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. I've got an old coin here. Hmm, show me. Oh yeah? That won't bring much on the open market. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Exactly as much as it used to be worth. It's a deal. Good. If you have any more of those, you'll know where to find me. Oh, where... F know where to find you, apparently. Interested in some more old coins? Sure. You still have any? A few. Thanks. Here's your money. Bring me all you can find. Yeah, it's actually a good way to get a tiny bit of experience. So, there's apparently a whole bunch of junk in here. There's actually not that much to loot in this place. It's just, uh... Well, it is... It has the, uh, the same picture. I wonder how... Hello, owner. Where the hell is he going? I think he has a bit of a... Maybe bubble problems, I don't know. At least there are also a truckload of shadow. I think he has a grudge against shadow beasts because there's a hat every, hanging every, pretty much everywhere. Oh, hi, Maria. 
Who are you? I am Onar's wife, Maria. What do you want here? Well, what a lovely sweetheart she is. I just wanted to have a look around here. With all these men on the farm now, there's no peace to be had inside the house. They just keep barging in here. Do the mercenaries bother you? Oh, well, at least the farm has been a lot safer since the mercenaries came. Back when we were still on our own, the militia came from town all the time to plunder our provisions. They dragged off the better part of the harvest, and they took some sheep too. They did nothing for us in return. A few of those scoundrels even stole from us. So what did they steal from you? Mostly gold and silver. They even took my wedding present, a golden plate. I bet it's now gathering dust in the chest of some filthy city guard. Oh yeah, uh, that's actually one of those little side quests with no, uh, with no, uh, diary entry. No clue actually where that is, but I'll find it out sooner or later. Tell me about Onar. He's a good man, a little grumpy and very impatient, but we've all got our faults. I told my husband, why do you let the soldiers from the city treat you like that? Do something, I said. So he hired the mercenaries. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a war. But then, we are at war, aren't we? Oh, we all have our flaws, and owner has especially many ones. Anyway, that's her long- that's- that was his lovely wife, Maria, and that should be... Hello, pretty face. She actually has a quite similar face to her mother, so that has probably to be the bo has to be the daughter. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm. Just where did you escape from? How charming. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing. Understood? Fine by me. Uh, I think none of our options is really that interesting. The rules we have, have to stick to are pretty basic and the same in town. If you break something, they'll break you. Ah, uh, not like that. Anyways, I think I'd get some sleep first. I'm sure. I own her. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, I think I still... Anyways, let's just move on. Damn it! <laughs> yes, owner had a bad sleep apparently. Okay, let's see. We have to find Lee actually. Hey, who are you? Everything fine with you? If it's oh, something man, important, go talk to Lee. Otherwise, leave me alone. Yeah, enough trouble as it is. Well, you're a kind guy. I think that is Lee on the stairs right no, there. Who the devil let you in here? <sighs> what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you think that? Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barrier. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man could survive something like that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. He sounds so excited. Jeez. I absolutely must talk to the paladins in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the paladins? It's all just gossip. That's a long story. I've got time. <sighs> Zardoz sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. So you're still allied to that necromancer? I see. And the paladins have this amulet? As far as I know, yes. I can help you get to the paladins, but first you need to become one of us. Uh, I actually don't intend to do that. If he doesn't see that... How can you help me get to the paladins? Trust me, I've got a plan. I think you're the right man for it. I'll take you to the Paladins, and you'll do me a favor. But first, join us. That's not what I heard. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? That's been known a lot. Let me think. Big, dark, bad with a big axe. He recaptured our ore mine with you Nobody back in the colony. Anything from me. Yeah, he mostly recaptured me. Don't say you didn't know that. Sure. He got caught by the paladins and was sent back to the Valley of Mines with a penal convoy. 
If the road to the Valley of Mines wasn't plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent a couple of the boys already to free him. But the way things are, there's no point. Poor devil. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simple. I'm gonna see to it that we all get off this island. Onar hired us to defend his farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But our reward is more than just our pay. By helping the farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. And the less the paladins have to eat, the sooner they'll listen when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? Essentially, it will be about our pardons and free passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. That's all just gossip. Well, fine. I want to join you. I'd hope you say that. I can use every able man here. The last mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's one or two things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. You can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's the boys. I can only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries agree that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. Yes, really. I didn't notice, Dad. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should say. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. That's the first I've heard of it. Hmm, that's best that work. I'm ready to join you. Not before you've passed Tarloff's test. Well, worth a try. Okay, we have to if, uh, find some respect. Hi, owner. What are you? <laughs> I think he doesn't appreciate it that I'm walking around his house the whole time. Doesn't seem to do much. And the mercenaries either. So, I need to convince you. Everything fine with you? So, you wanna join us then, hmm? Do you even have a decent weapon? Nobody will I have a tiny little knife. But he knew that all along. How did you end up with the mercenaries? I came with Silvio from the south. We belong to an army of mercenaries which Let's fought against the orcs. Would you mind if I joined you? Trouble as it is. Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. Anything for me. Okay, goody. Simple enough. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Hmm. Oh yeah, he actually trades weapons. What as well. weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. Let's see. Huge ass axe I can't wield. Huge ass axe I can't wield. Huge ass sword I can't wield. Huge ass axe I can't wield. And so on. To. Yeah, everything that's way beyond our. Our, um. Our skills. Yeah. Except the short ball, which you already have. So well. You know, I actually want to know his opinions about Sylvia and, and Lee. What's your opinion of Lee? I think that the only thing Lee is really interested in is getting away from this island. He wants to go to the mainland. Seems to have a bone to pick with someone there. At any rate, he does a far better job than Silvio ever could. Moreover, he's a good leader. Most of the time we can do whatever we want here. And that's the good thing about a leader, if he just cares jack shit about his people. What's your opinion of Silvio? He's a dangerous fella, and many of the mercenaries who came with him this far listen to what he says. Better not pick a fight with him. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So, we have to persuade people to... Uh, this is actually all completely optional, what I'm doing here, because I'm not going to join the mercenaries, but I always appreciate doing the quests, and especially getting the experience. So, we have to pass the test, so we have to go to Tortoloff, right here. What do you want from me? Same old thing all over again. I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? 
No Got my own opinion about that. Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the tasks that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Okay, I'll earn the respect of all the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. He never would have thought of that himself. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll earn the respect of most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident. Because then you'll have a big problem. Nobody ever. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Uh, rules of the duel are pretty clear. Just uh, basic melee weapons, no range, and no magic. Uh, let's see. Okay. There is a test. Uh, what about... There we go. What about you? Will you vote me in? If you can prove that you can fulfill the duties of a mercenary, yes. That's the first I've heard of it. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? Okay, we basically have the choice between two of uh, two quests. One is uh, dealing with two militias in on a farm. This gives you a little bit more experience and it also helps a little bit more of getting accept accepted. And the other one is just uh, collecting collecting rent, which is a rather which is easier but gives you less respect. In the end I won't be doing uh, either of them because there's a little there's a little well you'll see why I don't do won't do it. I'll deal with the militia, don't worry. Yeah, I thought of that. The farmer Bengar has complained that lately the militia from the city has been getting on his nerves. They're pressuring the farmer, probably trying to make him break with Onar. I want you to go to his farm and make it clear to the militia that they have no business there. Questions? You didn't know that. How can I find Bengar's farm? I won't get that from me. In the southwest of the valley is a big stairway that leads to a high plain. That's where Bengar's farm is. I've heard a thing or two. If you get lost, ask the farmers in the fields how to find your way around the area. I'll never ask for a way. Okay, you can actually also improve my abilities a little bit. Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. So, in other words, he's improving can improve our strength and our dexterity. And we're going to increase our strength until we hit 30 and Come get back once you've had more experience oh seems I don't have en enough experience yet I think I'm yes I know thank you I think I'm close yeah I'm oh fuck my life okay I'm really oh uh, I'm already at 30 strength that's actually what I wanted to achieve to begin with then again 90 experience for the next level up what a joke so where can we start um, let me think. That's actually a good question. Where the fuck I should just... Let's actually go to the kitchen first. Because I'm hungry. I want to eat something. Uh, let's do a quick quick save for good measures. And... Oh yeah, I remember that. Everyone stares at me. <laughs> as soon as I walk in, everybody seems to hate me. Hey guys. Just dropping in. Let's see. Oh hey, that's this... Evil Silvio guy, supposedly. What's up? How's it going? Have I given you permission to address me? Oh, you're cute. Hey, asshole! You don't actually think I'd get involved in a duel with you? Go crawl back under your rock. I'll show you where to crawl to. A lot of people talk about you. A lot of people talk too much. Oh, you're such a wise guy. What do you think of Lee? Oh, he's a good fighter. 
I would never want to pick a fight with him. Unless, of course, it couldn't be avoided. Yeah, you probably realize that he's not too much of a... That he's probably the bad guy in this place. Okay, there's his little friend. Silvio doesn't like being talked to. You might have gathered as much by now. Yes. Ow. Okay, I understood that. Thanks for the message. Well, at least you've got some gold on you. No, I don't. The magic of quicksave will save me. Or quick load, rather. Okay, I guess I won't talk to him. Yeah, keep on staring at me. Ugh. Camera angle. Hmm, who's that? Jarvis. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony, too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then. But some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against him and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Ah, we already know about Lee's intentions. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here, and wants to take advantage of the situation. Plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. Considering that the bandits already do that, that's a little bit redundant, but anyways. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulco. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. And the big joke basically is that three of them are, are three of those guys are basically undefeatable at the beginning. One is undefeatable, and two are just uh, impossibly hard to defeat. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. Well, understood. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. There's also the... the cookers, or the cook. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Okay, yes, that's she. Hmm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I, I don't dish out you. food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. Yep, she's pretty unhappy, blah blah blah, and not caring. Yeah, she has nothing interesting to say. So I don't want to even bother with her. Yes, it's me. Look at me. What? Have I something in my face that are constantly staring at me? Okay, so we already... Uh, gathered a couple of quests, and you realize that there's a uh, there are a lot of old mercenaries here, like Cipher or two. But I'm, I think Cipher was abandoned actually in the first game. But anyways, here's also another good old friend. Doing all right? Hey, I know you from the colony. What do you want here? 
I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapon store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. I'll don't really need that. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Where do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. Well, at least that's something. Okay, let's see. There's so much to do on this farm, Jesus. Uh, let's talk to... Uh, we'll beat up the merc enemy mercenaries later. We're actually going to talk to our good old friends from, uh, from the first game, like Cypher. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony, remember? I would have thought of that himself. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. That's no secret. What are you going to do about the thief then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? What's with people saying the whole time twiddling my thumbs? I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had any to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. Yeah, you got the the choice between giving him, I think, ten pieces of swamp, bre uh, swamp weed reefers, which actually takes quite a lot of time to find, or just bring him the package. And we basically have this package. Maybe remember that we got it back then from the king of the warehouse, because we froze him and knocked him down. But let's just see if we can actually find out who's uh, who's... Who's the bad boy? Let's see. He said about Bodo. Bodo is the guy right over here, conveniently. Hey! Let's, let's investigate this little cause. Like this forever. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you're the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. Nobody will learn anything from me. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. 
But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like, and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. Well, give me the weed, then. Give me that weed, or else. Listen, all I've got is this one reefer of weed. Take it and leave me alone. You know that Onar's mercenaries look out for us, right? So don't do anything stupid. Well, give me the weed. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. This is gonna change. I don't have it. Honest. Is it really true? Give me the swamp weed. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. I don't have it. Honest. I don't believe you. Give me the swamp weed. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. I don't have it. Honest. Yeah, he really. I'll show you, honest. Put down that weapon. Okay, bad idea. Hey. You're not quite as stupid as you look. What? Okay. Okay, that's nothing. Let's see. We have to find another point. If it's not him, who could it potentially be? Hmm. Maybe that guy there smoking swamp weed. You know, it's just just a hunch, but we could ask him where he has it from. This Dar guy. Hey, Dar. What are you smoking there? Wanna toke? Uh, no, thank you, I already had one. No. Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. Okay, he is a busy mercenary, it seems. I want to join the mercenaries, do you mind? Who cares? Okay, I got his vote, I think. Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Okay, where's the package? Where's the package? What do I know? Okay, I'll knock it out of you. I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Where's the package? What do I know? Where's the package? What do I know? You'll soften up sooner or later. Where's the package? What do I know? Okay, actually, it's actually pointless because I ask where I, uh, where I have the package because I have it in my pocket right now, so it's basically pretty pointless. Also to note, uh, Dar seems to be not on the side of Sylvia, Sylvia nor Lee, because he wasn't in the first game, and it seemed, and Jarvis didn't say anything about he's be, he's being with Sylvia. Then again, he's probably way too stoned to actually realize that there's any alliances. Also, I'm raiding the shrine for no apparent reason. I actually don't know what's the what's the deal with this thing. Also, never actually understood what this face is for. I doubt it actually stands for any of the three gods, and. I guess it's just some texture somebody uh, has drawn together and just thought, hey, that's beautiful, let's paste it everywhere in the world. Because you've seen it you've seen it actually pretty often. Okay, since we think that's Dar still, we might as well tell it Cypher. Or first actually give him the, the package back. Hey, you! Would this package of swamp weed happen to be yours? Well, I'll be... Where'd you get that? It's a long story. Doesn't matter. Really, you're a decent guy. Here, take this as a reward. Have fun with it. That's all just gossip. First, let me roll a few. Ah, uh, there's something else. I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. Um, Cypher? Yeah, I might want to say that it's more of an assumption than actually knowing that he stole it. Because I just found it in a chest and he's just... Okay, fine, jeez. Just bash yourself. Thank you. I'll actually... Loot him instead. Oh, I already took the gold. Thanks for the. There we go. Okay, are we relieved now, Cipher? Wait a minute. 
You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? Yeah, that felt good. Not to him, I suppose. The little beggar has no business going through my chest. Well, it's still... Okay, can I actually still give him ten stalks of swamp About weed? the swamp weed. You brought back my packet. Now everything will be all right. I'm certainly going to vote for you. I was about to say, can I now give him back those ten uh, stalks of swamp weed he gave me as a reward? Because that would be kind of cheap. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. <laughs> like hell will I vote for you. Well, I assumed it. Do you do anything besides smoke? Sometimes I let some vengeful swamp weed junkies beat me up. Well, you deserved it. Oops. Put away that weapon. Actually, Smart kid. Yeah, calm down. I'm not going to beat you up, even though I intended it. Anyways, what can we still do? I'm actually going to close this episode sooner or later, but first I should actually go to find uh, find uh, Court right here. He was actually in the first game as well. He was a uh, melee teacher as well as he is in this game, and he's part of the ring. If I would have actually uh, continued talking to Lee about it, about the Ring of Water, he would have eventually told me that he's part of the Ring of the Water, but since I know it, ah, let's just talk to him. If you have a problem with wolves or field raiders, go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. What? Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, it's always about slaughtering innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh? What is it you want, then? Well, he sure remembers me. I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon, then? So... How about one-handed weapons? I'm not so bad at that. And two-handed weapons, then? I'm surely gonna get better. Well, at least you're not a damn beginner. All right, I'm gonna vote you in. Whatever else you need to know, you can learn from me. Yeah, that was basically already his quest to accept you. You need to have uh, at least one, either two-handed or one-handed weapon, at least 30%, so he gives you his vote. But there's also something else. Let's see. Oh, I actually need to talk to Lars, so he actually tells me that he's part of the ring. Okay, let's talk to Lars then quickly. No, jump up there. Nothing amazes me anymore. Up, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, where are you, Lee? What do you know about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. You just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. I know that this secret guild exists here and that the water mages are behind it. Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course I still help when I can, but most of the time I have my own problems and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Cord. He's one of them, as far as I know. Well, thank you. You know, considering the was acting, he's really a quiet one, like Cypher said. It's actually funny because he's the, he's one of the NPCs that emotes the much, uh, the most. He sounds at least like an extremely emotional fellow. Anyways, Court, you're the Ring of Water. He's a blabbermouth, I know. <coughs> I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lee told me about it. Looks like I've got a deal with you now, doesn't it? All right, so what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. Hmm. I want your armor. Say that again and you get to pick up your teeth from the ground. <laughs> I love this option. Okay, uh, I don't. I probably won't ask him about his weapon. Probably better for my health. You could help me to get accepted by the mercenaries. <laughs> I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. What else? Hmm. Okay. That's all. That shouldn't be too hard. 
And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? I like that I chose for people for the Ring of Water who have a really balanced mind. Or... Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? I'm supposed to drive the militia away from Bengar's farm. Ah, yes. That's easy. Listen, come back tomorrow. I'll have taken care of it by then. But you're going to have to do something for me in return. And what would that be? Not far from here, to the southeast, there's a small bandit camp in the mountains. If you go southeast from here, you'll soon see the tower there. One of my people, Patrick, left several days ago to do business with those varmints. Well, I told him it was a rotten idea, but that idiot wouldn't listen to me. I assume they've made short work of him, but I don't know for sure. You're going to find out for me. Oh, come on. Are you, t are you serious? Forget it. That's much harder than Torloff's task. It doesn't have to be. Such a small, greasy, nondescript fellow like you won't be of much interest to them. And I can't do it myself. Those boys will get their dander up at the mere sight of a mercenary. He's such a charmer. And what makes you so sure that they won't make short work of me, too? The fact that I know the name of their leader. It's Dexter. You'll simply claim that you know the guy. His men will think twice before they wring your neck just for the heck of it. It could still get dangerous, of course, but you can handle that. You know, I don't really have to claim to know him because I really know him, but anyways. Whoa. This constantly scares me because I think every time he's attacked, he will attack me. Anyways, let's actually try to find this tower somewhere. He said somewhere in the southeast. Okay, this, this place is actually pretty hard to find if you don't know where it is exactly. So... Ah, well there's the tower already. Often listens, and there is a convenient path, it seems. Which snakes up through the different, uh, through the mountains. Then again, we won't be uh, visiting this camp uh, today anymore. I'll stop uh, soon when we get to the gate guard. Or, well, gate guard, bridge guard, or... The guard guard. There we go. There we go. Anyways, we'll see us in the next episode of Let's Play Gopher 2. Hello, birdies. Then we're going to take a look at this bandit camp right here. Just be careful enough. Ahua! Shut up, you fucking birds!